Hi, I'm excited to talk to you about the salvation process. I always tease my students, this isn't the salvation process. That's a different discussion. This is the salvation process. Salvation process just meaning dissolving. We are going to dissolve a solute into a solvent. So let's give you a little bit of information. Um, technically, here's what it is. It's dissolving the dissolving process of the solvent particles. So that would be like water surrounding the solute particles. <clears throat> now, I want you to think of this in two steps. Number one, that solute has to dissociate. It's got to break apart. And number two, each particle needs to be surrounded by the solute, okay, or by the solvent, excuse me. The solute needs to be um, surrounded by the solvent. Let me show you a picture of this. So I'm going to have sodium chloride. I'm going to add it to water. So two things happen. Number one, the sodium chloride has to dissociate. Dissociate, okay? It breaks apart. And then number two, the water surrounds the ions. I make my students not only draw this, I make them write out that process. Number one, we dissociate. Number two, we surround. Um, now, does that happen in reality, in life, that, okay, let's break apart and let's surround? It's all going to be instantaneous. It's going to happen so fast. Uh, but I want you to think about it as breaking and then surrounding. Um, now, remember that this is a positive-negative interaction. This is really an ion dipole IMF. Is that full-on charge being attracted to the partial positive or negative of the polar molecule, which in this case is water. Um, and it goes back to this idea right here, like dissolves like. Uh, we have huge charges, uh, an entire charge. Uh, that's huge in comparison to the partial positive and negative. And then you have that polar molecule with that little bit of negative, a little bit of positive that's going to be attracted to the opposite ion. Um, so let's see here. You need to be able to draw this. This is something in any chemistry class as a particulate view, you need to be able to draw it. AP definitely wants you to be able to draw this. Now, heat of solution. This process energy is involved. Always energy is involved. And the heat of solution is the energy that's absorbed or released um, at the end of this entire process. Um, so I could put the salt in the water, put a temperature probe in there, um, let it sit, let it come to thermal equilibrium, and the temperature will either decrease or de um, increase. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this dissolving process. The um, ions are going to break apart. Now, if you need help breaking apart ions, watch that video. Number one mistake that students make is they don't dissociate the correct number of ions. If you can dissociate the correct number of ions, thank you to um, Dr. Butch Atwood and his millions, literally, of data points. If students can dissociate correctly um, to the correct number of ions, they have a 99% chance of getting an A in general chemistry in a college class, in a 1210 general chemistry college class. So it's worth watching that video, figure out how to dissociate. For example, if I had like a calcium chloride right here, I would have written calcium right there with a two plus and two of the chloride ions because for every one calcium chloride, it's going to dissociate into one calcium ion and two chloride ions. Um, so be careful on that and watch the video, how to count ions. Um, all right. So sodium chloride breaks into two ions, one sodium, one chloride ion. Um, and then how you draw this is positive negative interaction, that ion dipole. So the positive sodium is going to attract the partial negative of the oxygen. Remember the polarity of water, those lone pairs, wow, two lone pairs on those oxygens, definitely the partial positive or partial ne negative by those electrons. They sit close to the atom, very, very negative. Um, by default, that hydrogen is going to be um, a partial positive. Those electrons are not going to share equally. You'll have a large electron density up here by those um, lone pair electrons. So there's your partial negative, partial positive. So the water is going to move in and orient itself so that the partial negative oxygens are all close to and interacting, attracting negative positive with that sodium ion. Um, now, the chloride ion. So the chloride ion, that negative charge, is of course going to attract the partial positive. Negative attracts the positive. You're thinking magnets here. 
Um, so the partial positive of all of these hydrogens are going to attract, there's going to be an intermolecular force, an interaction, um, a coulombic attraction between the hydrogens and that chloride ion. Um, and that's always how you draw it. It's just going to be whatever that charge is on the ion, um, the opposite polarity is going to attract to it, positive, negative, positive, negative.